everybody, welcome back to another exciting episode of Kitty Cat Gaming. We are playing more of the Shape Shifting Detective, and uh, we are on chapter two now. I don't know how many chapters there are, but let's go visit the chief Any and get a recap. Any more news on Okay, so let's ask who's on your suspect list. The tarot readers. No one else is remotely suspicious compared to them. Uh, I'd add the boyfriend. Oscar, have you spoken to him yet? It's not him. We haven't spoken to him yet, so what do we know? Rain says he was praying in his room, alone. Nobody corroborates. Bronwyn and Lexi say they were in the same room last night. Shame they can't agree which one. Yeah, that's weird. The tarot readers mentioned Birmingham. You're looking into it. Okay. There's some talk about a traveller, whatever that is. Dorota's boyfriend Oscar is in the clear as far as I'm concerned, but I'm still waiting to hear what he tells you. Okay. Violet says she doesn't remember last night, but I've got that in hand. That's it. All right. Let's go visit Oscar, her boyfriend. Who are you? Oh. I'm a shape doing detective. No. I'm Sam. The show's... The shows hired me... The shoes. The Shaws. Sorry. I can read. The Shaws hired me to investigate the murder. Right. Because the local police are so rubbish. It's been a day. A whole day. It's typical of them. Uh, did you see Dorda yesterday? What can you tell me about Dorda's parents? How long were you dating Dorda or leave? Say, how long were you dating Dorda? Not long. A couple of months, maybe. But we did care for each other. A couple of months, maybe. Okay. Any idea who would do this to her or was she seeing anyone else? See, any ideas who would do this to her? No, no one. She was really popular. All right, so she was really popular. Everyone liked her. They were dating for a couple months. Okay, so did you see Dorda yesterday? What can you tell you about Dorda's parents? And is it possible the killer was hiding in Dorda's room? Oh, that's an ominous question. I'm going to say, did you see Dorda yesterday? Yeah, I went around there in the afternoon. Uh, her parents were at work, and we were, you know, hanging out. I left at about 5. Where were you at 9 p.m.? Playing football. It was just 5 aside. Uh, finished at about half nine. I called her, but she never picked up. That was when she was getting murdered, dude. Um, what can you tell me about Dorda's parents, or is it possible the killer was hiding in Dorda's room? What can you tell me about Dorda's parents? Not much. They always seemed happy to see me. I don't think they meant it. They wanted Dorota to focus on her music. All right, and do you think that the killer was hiding in Dorda's room? What, you mean watching us? That's disturbing. No, no, it couldn't have been. The only place you could have hidden would be in the closet, and... I suppose someone could have hidden in the closet. Ugh, that's creepy. Must be a big closet, or have you hidden in there before? Must be a big closet. Yeah. It's big enough for two people to have sex in. On all fours. What the fuck, dude? Okay. Uh. Dorda liked to experiment? She had a few kinks. Nothing weird. Okay, kinks? Yeah, a band from the 60s. I'm not discussing this with you. <laughs> Good man. Okay, uh, what was in the closet? The clothes, mainly. I did see something that freaked me out a bit. She had a wedding dress in there. She knew I'd seen it, but we never talked about it. Not even as a joke. Okay, that's interesting. Alright, so we can visit the chief, we can visit Oscar, who we just left, or visit the guest house. Um, so we've done visit chief and Oscar now, so let's go to the guest house again. See if anything's happening with our tarot card reader friends. Uh, so let's visit Violet, the owner. Uh, do you think that Oscar killed Dorda? <laughs> Vicar's son? No. No, as far as I can tell, Oscar is a good boy. But we've all got different faces now, haven't we, Sam? Damn, dude, she's on to me. Different faces. The masks we wear. I could be a satanic cultist behind closed doors, but you'd never know, would you, Sam? What's wrong with the cult? Um, okay, so why would someone kill Dorda? She flaunts herself. Her body. So what? Her boudoir photographs taken. Who do you think those photos were for, Sam? Her mother. I don't know. Who are they for? It sounds like you like know a lot about Dorda. Not really. Just gossip. Apparently she went to have some portrait photos done and started stripping off. Weston's photographic. Zack. Weston. He'll get himself into trouble one of these days. I think we should go question him. Why trouble? If you keep taking pictures of pretty girls in their underwear, somebody's going to get upset. 
Hmm. Tell me more about the Zach. Zach's the local photographer. You should go and talk to him, Sam. You're good at talking. Hmm. Okay. Do you know where he is? At Weston's Photographic? Off the high road? It's late, but he's always there. Hmm. How do you know that? I have a good memory. I'm still holding grudges from when I was four. Four? Right. That's strange. She has a photographic memory that she doesn't remember yesterday. Sums up with Miss Violet. Alright, let's visit Bronwyn. What's new? Do you know Dorda's boyfriend? Lexi says she was in her room last night, not yours. Ooh, yeah, say that. Oh, she gets easily confused. Youth of today. Tell me the truth. Fine. Jeeve Tupon was breathing down her neck, so we thought it would be simpler if we stuck together. If these walls weren't separating our rooms, then technically it'd be true. Okay, so she admitted she lied to me. Uh, why did you lie about your alibi, or did you know that door? Did you know Dorda's better? I'm gonna say, why did you lie about your alibi? To protect Lexi. None of this is her fault, and she gets anxious easily. I was just trying to take the pressure off. Um, I'm sorry, Sam. I, I never usually lie. Usually lie. Okay. Um, what were you doing in your room then? I was logged into Tarotasm. It's a phone reading service, and I get paid by the minute. Which, now that I'm saying it, it's not something I really should be bragging about. Okay. Well, did you know Dorda's boyfriend? Yes. He came to see me. He wanted to know that she was okay. Spiritually speaking. Um, okay. Well, did he tell you anything about Dorda or you contacted Dorda's spirit? You contacted Dorda's spirit? No. I wouldn't know how. I'm a tarot reader, not a medium. Maybe I should have pretended, though. Made up some fake message from her to give him some comfort. Okay. Um, well, why didn't you make up a fake message? You lie once, and you just have to keep going, don't you? Uh-oh, what was that face? She lied once, and she has to keep going. What did she lie to us about? Woo, it's getting cold in here. I'm getting anxious. All right, so let's visit Bronwyn. Oh, wait, no, we just visited her. My bad. All right, let's leave her. Let's go and visit Rain? Yeah, Rain. Sam. What can I do for you? Do you just sit here all day and wait for people to come in your room and talk to you? <laughs> all right, how did you get Doria's Dor Dorota's name from the tarot? Lexi mentioned you're here to do a job, and where were you before August? Lexi mentioned you're here to do a job. We're trying to save people. Okay, that's not weird at all. It's not working. I said we're trying. We have a gift. We have Mercury, the tarot. It tells us where bad things are going to happen, and we try and stop them. Okay. What happened in Birmingham, then? Birmingham. We couldn't save anyone there, either. The problem with travelers is... Travelers? What the heck is a traveler? Let's put a pin in this one, Sam. Let me ask Bronwyn. If she says it's okay to talk about it, it's okay to talk about it. What the heck are they talking about? Okay, how did you get Dorda's name from the tarot? We didn't. Lexi used a Ouija board to get the name. A Ouija board? It's Lexi's thing. I don't personally go near them, but in this case, it did help. Okay, can you use the Ouija on its own? No. Lexi needs to give it context from the tarot reading. A lot of the time, it comes up with nothing. Or a sordid comment directed at Lexi. <laughs> I think that's why she keeps using it, to be honest. <laughs> uh, okay, tell me more about the Ouija board. Once we thought there was going to be a murder, Lexi used the Ouija board to find out the victim's name. It spelled out the rotor. Okay, how does it work? Just... <laughs> this is going to sound weird. Um, most people believe Ouija boards contact the dead. So if Lexi contacts a dead person, that person needs to know what happens in the future. Ergo, maybe the person she's contacting is from the future. A time traveler who died here. Time travel's real? Yes. 
Well, not just time travel, time and space travel is also possible. Oof. If we accept the fact there are multiple realities, we must also accept there are others like us who found a way to travel between these realities. What is the setting up? I'm setting up for something weird happening. We're gonna meet a time traveler? Are we a time traveler? Is that what the travelers that he was talking about are? So he keeps mentioning this like other being named a traveler that they are following. The tarot card is helping them follow the traveler. And the traveler is presumably the one who's killing people. But then again, we ourselves are from another town where we did something bad that presumably we killed somebody and, and the detective is going to hide it for us. So it makes you wonder, are we the traveler that they're hunting down and that's why the tarot card told them to come here so they could meet us? We have to be careful what we say around them. I don't know, it's getting creepy. Um, Alright, let's visit Lexi. Hi Sam, back for more already. Yeah, that's me. Uh, okay, so did you know Dorda's boyfriend? Why did you lie about your alibi? Tell me about your Ouija board, or tell me about the Traveler. Tell me about the Traveler. Traveler? That's a really old role-playing game, isn't it? Mm, you don't want to talk to me, huh? Bluff. Rain told me all about it. Oh, did he now? Well then, you know what I know. I guess you must be a part of our inner circle. How does it feel? Uh... I'm not gonna say that. Okay, so did you know Dorda's boyfriend? Why did you lie about your alibi? Or tell me about your Ouija board. Oh, it's just your run-of-the-mill spirit communication device. Want to know how it works? Yes. Cool, okay. So Ouija boards send us messages from the spirit world, right? But where is the spirit world? I mean, there's planets and stars in space. The spirit world must be really far away beyond all that. Go on. We're so far to travel, messages from the spirit world must take ages to get here. Like how light from the sun takes eight minutes or something to reach us. You still with me? Okay. I understand. You've got people to see. Places oh no, to I go. picked the wrong answer. Okay. Uh, well, why'd you lie about your alibi? I didn't. How did you find out? Am I in trouble? Yeah, a little bit. It was only a little white lie, nothing else. It wasn't even that much of a lie. We're both here, in the guest house. We just happen to be in different rooms. If I had proof, why wouldn't have made this all up? I'm sorry, Sam, I really am. I know how this must look, but I couldn't kill anything, honest. Uh, uh did you know Dorda's boyfriend? No, I think Bronwyn met him, though. Okay, what for? You'd have to ask her, or him. It's not my place to say. Oh, it was because he wanted to be comforted, all right. So we got that. Alright, I guess we can go to our room. What's in the radio saying? The first appointment at the clinic cost most of Mother's jewelry. Then, there was the vessel to pay for. That cost Pen her books, and a few items of clothes. Okay, yeah, the radio is just reading, like, fan fiction or something. I don't get anything from that. Alright, so... Let's... We go see in the chief again, or we could go visit Bronwyn and ask her about the travelers. Can we ask her yet? Yeah, tell me about the Ouija board. It's Lexi's. I like to think it works the way most metaphysical things work. Through energy. What metaphysical things? Tarot things? cards, runes, Ouija boards. They're just devices for asking questions and receiving answers. But energy is what powers them. Okay, well, that's all we get out of her. Anything else from you, Violet? Nope. I got some feet. Uh, Alright. Let's go back to the it's chief. It's 7 o'clock, and here's the latest August update. Okay. Chief DuPont of August Police is urging residents to be vigilant tonight following the brutal murder of 21-year-old Dorota Shaw. Whilst he stresses there is no immediate threat to the community at large, Residents should be on the lookout until the killer is in police custody. Miss Shaw was found strangled in it's her so bedroom gorgeous. home last night. Poe, I heard she was found by her mother. Truly awful. Mother caught me up to all sorts of mischief in my bedroom. Also in the news, emergency services were called to the crossroads at Grange Avenue and Church Street following a collision between two cars. There are no reports of any serious injuries, but you might want to take a different route for now. Oh no. It's going to be one of those nights, Poe. 
Stay with me, doll. I'll keep you safe. I'm not going anywhere. That's seven o'clock with Poe and Monroe. It's a cute radio show. I would listen to that. All right. Um, so I guess we can go to the next chapter. Next time in the next episode of Kitty Cat Gaming, we're going to go to chapter three. Uh, please be sure to hit that subscribe button so you guys don't miss it. And I'll see you guys all then. Bye, everybody. <laughs>